you're watching Gears. Brought to you by Holly Performance Products. Fuel your passion. And Cornwell Tools, the choice of professionals. You know, one of the great things about the popularity of classic vehicles is that you can find pretty much whatever you want if you look hard enough. I mean, they're at auctions, they're at car lots, they're on eBay, I mean, they're out there. And with the values of classic vehicles going up and up all the time, these can be a good investment. And they're a heck of a lot of fun to take out and enjoy. But that also gives certain unscrupulous people an opportunity to build a fake version and try to pass it off as the real thing. So the question becomes, how do you know what you're looking at is the real thing or a replica? That's what we're going to look at. Okay, the first thing I want to be really clear on is there is nothing wrong with a replica. I mean, they're everywhere. There's thousands of Cobra replicas, there's Z28 Camaros, there's Hemi Roadrunners, there's Batmobiles, there's dune buggies, there's Ferraris. I mean, do you think they destroyed a $20 million Ferrari in Ferris Bueller's Day Off? No, man, that was a replica. The problem comes when somebody tries to pass off a replica as an original. Now, you might be thinking, oh, come on. <laughs> It doesn't really matter. Okay, a few thousand dollars. Well, let me give you an example. One of these trucks is the original Copperhead truck, and the current owner has turned down over $250,000 for it. The other truck just sold at a Mecham auction for only 60. An original Z28 Camaro is gonna bring double the money that a nice replica will. And an original Shelby Cobra, man, some of those can go for over a million dollars, making them almost too expensive to drive. But you can pick up a replica for about $80,000 and drive it every day. So as you can see, there is a place for a replica, but it's also important for you to know how to tell the difference so you don't get sacked by a shyster. Okay, the first thing that any good replica is going to do is mimic the big things. So when you look at these two trucks together, the paint, the stance, the overall look, man, they look identical. So to find the true original of any one-off or low production vehicle, you're going to have to do your research on the original vehicle 